Uh, this video is the uh, third video uh, in digital circuits. It's uh, basically on logic uh, gates. Uh, notes uh, in summarized form are also provided uh, for this video under the blog or study material on the website. It covers various uh, logic uh, gates uh, such as basic gates like AND, OR and NOT, universal gates like NAND and NOR, and other gates like XOR and XNOR. NAND and NOR are the most commonly used gates. Given the logic function, they can be implemented uh, using these gates. Procedures for such implementations are outlined. Uh, towards the end, XR, XNR gates uh, have been considered. These gates find wide applications such as in adders, subtractors, code converters, comparators, parity generators, and checkers, uh, and so on. A comparative study is done uh, which can help in uh, problem solving. Uh, relevant relations uh, such as uh, SOP and POS expressions and other properties are also elaborated uh, which would be definitely helpful in problem solving. A good number of problems appear in gate examination from this topic. Practice them. Uh, you can also use uh, uh, MCQs uh, on this topic in our uh, website. Now, uh, we'll start uh, uh, about the gates. So, uh, this is the part 3 on the logic gates uh, uh, since this is the third video on the digital circuits. Since uh, Boolean algebra has uh, three basic uh, operations, AND, OR, and NOT. And uh, uh, these uh, can be implemented using gates. That means these operations could be implemented using the gates. NAND and NOR are universal gates. And uh, most of the circuits are uh, implemented using uh, NAND and NOR functions and uh, and all the gates uh, can be derived that means all the basic gates can be derived from these NAND or OR functions here AND, OR and NOT are the basic functions NAND and NOR uh, these uh, are the uh, universal gates N and XR and XNOR is uh, another uh, set of gates uh, which find very wide applications. So we'll not uh, be defining this AND or NOT NAT and OR functions that you can cover from any standard books on uh, digital circuits. Uh, uh, we'll try to see here that how uh, uh, this uh, uh, NAND gate could be used to implement uh, NOT function, AND function, and the OR function. These are the basic functions. So if you see the NAND uh, gate, this gate here, when two inputs are connected together, it's acting as an uh, inverter. So if A is the input, you will get output as uh, F equals A complement. So it's like an inverter. Now, if you want to make it as AND gate, again uh, A, B are the inputs here. And uh, at the output of a NAND gate, you will get A, B complement. And this is fed through the inverter because the two inputs are connected together here. So this is an inverter, you will get an AB. So you get an AND gate out of the NAND gate. Now, this uh, function is 
giving the uh, OR gate uh, using the NAND gates. Here both these NANDs are used as an inverter. So A, A complement, B, B complement. And they are fed into the NAND gate. And the output would be A bar, B bar complement. And A bar, B bar complement will give me A or B. So we are able to uh, get all the basic uh, gates from the NAND function. Similarly, this figure here shows that how the NOR function can be used to uh, generate all the basic gates. Here again, uh, both the inputs are connected together, so it works like an inverter. And this is an AND function, and this is corresponding OR function. And if you know the Boolean uh, algebra, Boolean equations, you can very easily write the corresponding outputs for the given inputs here. So uh, these are the uh, um, the functions uh, which you could uh, derive. Now, uh, now uh, one of the very important thing here is uh, NAND and NAR implementations. That means how you can have uh, NAND and NAR implementations uh, here. Uh, this uh, we can see that digital circuits can be implemented using NAR and NAND. Uh, if we look into this uh, De Morgan theorem, A into B, if you take a complement, this will be A bar or R plus B bar. And this is another Boolean theorem. Uh, then De Morgan's theorem that A or B complement would be A bar, B bar. That means if there is a complement on the product of the two gates, it would be you break this bar here and instead of this dot you put a OR sign. Here break the bar and instead of plus sign you put a dot here. So these are two variations of the De Morgan theorem. Now, here, if we take another complement here for this uh, A dot B, double complement means it will give the same function A and B. And uh, this double complement, you can upper bar. Uh, first, we'll uh, break the inside bar. So you will get uh, the OR function here. The block bar, bar is broken. And uh, this corresponds to A or B. Uh, double complement will give me A bar, B bar complements. So uh, these are the corresponding equivalents. Like if there is an A, A, B, that's AND gate. AND gate could also be represented to, uh, could be written as AND gate is equivalent to NOR gate. So basically a NOR gate, OR, and then invert here. NOR gate with bubble at its inputs. And these are the bubbles at its input. So we can say that AND gate could be converted to NOR gate with its bubbles at the input. Similarly, we can hear if there is an OR function, this is equivalent to uh, the NAND function with bubbled inputs. So anyway, this is uh, uh, by using the De Morgan's theorem, how to you can uh, you can uh, simplify it. Now, uh, NAND gate implementation is very important uh, in these uh, problems. Uh, the NAND gate implementation, the procedure here is: the first you write down the Boolean expression in sum of product form, and then simplify the expression. You have to simplify the expression to the minimum. And then you have to double invert the expression. And by doing so, you will be able to get NAND gate implementation. Similarly, you can have a NOR gate uh, implementation. Instead of writing a SOPI form, you write the expression in POS form. And then double invert, and you will get a implementation using NOR functions. Now, you can refer to any standard uh, textbook for this purpose to uh, see the governing equations uh, for this and how the problems are solved. Uh, 
uh, you can also look into the uh, uh, MCQs, uh, multiple choice questions on the logic aids which we have already posted uh, in our multiple choice questions on our website. You can refer to that. So a good number of problems are uh, given there. And uh, those problems, uh, mostly, they are from the gate examination and cover uh, uh, very, uh, I would say, uh, points uh, which uh, need a great uh, concepts. Uh, now, uh, we'll talk about the XR and X0 gates. Uh, uh, these gates uh, find wide applications, uh, especially like they find applications in uh, arithmetic circuits like adders and subtractors, code converters like binary to gray and gray to binary converter. You can use the XR uh, function, parity generators and checker. Uh, it's a very important gate, XR gate or XNOR gate find uh, very good applications for parity generators and checkers, comparators. And there are many more applications of uh, uh, these gates. Uh, and uh, you would notice that uh, a good number of problems uh, have appeared in the gate examination on this uh, topic. Since uh, this topic covers a wide uh, uh, range of applications. Now, here, uh, I have tried to compare this XR and XNR functions in a table of form for your convenience so that you can compare the difference and find the difference and you can very easily use them. So this is anyway uh, the symbol for XR function. Uh, this additional uh, uh, curve is there here to represent uh, this uh, different from the R function. And this is the corresponding truth table here for the XR function. That means if the two inputs uh, are different, you get an output 1. So 0, 0, if they are same, you get the 0. If they are different, 0 and 1, you get 1 output. If 1 and 0, you get 1 output. If they are same, you get a 0 output. While in the case of XNR function, the uh, XNR and XR, they are differing only. This one is just a complement of the XR function. So this bubble is being put at the output. So XNR function, if you write a truth table here, then A, B, and F, this gives an output when the two inputs are same. That means 0, 0 is 1, 0, 1, they are different, you get a 0, and so on. It's just a complement of this. Now, if we try to see uh, the sum of product uh, form of this expression, F is represented as A, X or B, and uh, exclusive or B, then corresponding SOP expression is A, B bar, plus A bar B. Because you can write it here corresponding to outputs 1, you can write uh, the min term here. So here the min term 1 is A B bar, other is A bar B. So, and uh, similarly you can also write the POS expression A or B into A bar or B bar. This is a POS expression for XR gate. Uh, similarly you can see the SOP expression uh, for the XNOR gate is A, B plus A bar, B bar. It's written A uh, exclusive or complement. It's also written A uh, uh, XNOR of B. It's SOP expression. Similarly, POS expression can be written here this one. These expressions are very useful here, SOP and POS expressions, while solution of the problems. The other very important uh, property here is this said to be an odd function. Why it is an odd function? When the number of inputs is odd, you get output as 1. This is an even function. When the number of inputs are 1, you get uh, 1 at the output. So this is said to be an even function. This is said to be an odd function. Okay. Uh, these are some of the application part of uh, these gates like uh, if for XR gate, if one input is high, it acts as a control inverter. And uh, if it is a low, it's like a buffer. And this XNR function is just complement of the 
XR function. Modulo 2 adder is also, XR gate is also sometimes said to be modulo 2 adder or it's a half adder. And uh, this XNAR gate is said to be like equivalence gate or coincidence gate. Coincidence gate, uh, these are the more than, uh, if you want to gate uh, uh, the gates, uh, XR and XR gates with more than two inputs, uh, more than two inputs using two inputs, you can use the two input gates uh, and cascade them to get the three input gates as being shown here. A and B, the output here fed back to the next gate. So A complement A, X lives R B, X lives R C. This uh, output here and similarly here A, X nor B, X nor C. So these uh, figures indicate that uh, uh, these gates uh, uh, if you want to get a higher input uh, gate, uh, you can cascade these gates to get uh, higher input. Normally, hardware-wise, uh, most of the gates which exist are two input gates only. So you need to uh, you need to uh, cascade these gates to get uh, higher inputs. So this is uh, all about. Uh, uh, this topic, uh, but uh, uh, I would uh, tell you that should be uh, very thorough uh, with the governing equations for these gates uh, as well as uh, the other gates uh, since a good number of problems uh, appear in the gate examination from this particular topic. So, all the best to you. Thank you.